Hello class, and welcome to this Bloxel's EDU tutorial video about animating art. In this video, I'll teach you how to take the art you've already created and animate it. First, we're going to go into Builder, and then we're going to select the art tile to take us to the art builder. From here, we're going to edit this coin. Now here you see we have the color palette on the right, the tools on the left, and the animation icons on the bottom. Now the plus signs on the left and right allow you to add frames on the right or left. So I'm going to add a frame which copies the image from the first frame into the next. And I'm going to erase everything in the second frame because we're going to animate it and change the way it looks. So for this first frame of animation, I'm going to draw my coin a little more narrow. I'm going to try and create animation that makes the coin look like it's rotating. Now when you're animating your art, whatever it is, be creative. You don't have to do what I do, and you don't have to do what anybody else does. Make your art animate the way you want it to. Now that I'm done with this frame, if I hit the plus sign on the bottom to the right, I can add another frame that follows after it. Similarly, I'm going to erase the whole thing, and I'm going to draw another stage of the animation. When you're animating, using multiple frames makes your animation look more smooth. So I'm going to do another frame here where the coin is even more narrow because it's rotated even more to its right. Now that I'm done with this frame, I'm going to add one more frame. Again, I'll erase everything. And this is going to be the middle point of my animation. So I'm going to make the coin at its most narrow when it's completely sideways and we can't see it. So I'm just going to draw these narrow frames. take the color of the coin and throw it right down the middle here. Now, this is the middle point of the animation. So what I'm going to do next is going to use these tools on the bottom left to make my work a little easier. So I'm going to tap on this frame here and copy it. Then add a frame to the right of my midpoint and paste what I just copied there. So you'll see that the third frame and fifth frame are now the same. If I take this tool here, it allows me to mirror the image across the y-axis, flipping it from the left to the right. Now I'm going to take the second frame and do the same thing. So I'm going to tap on that, copy it, I'm going to add a frame to the right of the last one, and then I'm going to paste. And now the second and sixth frames will be the same. And then I'm going to flip it across the y-axis again. You could also do it across the x-axis, flipping it top and bottom, so that it's upside down or right side up. But if I tap through these, you can see the frames of this animation. And to the left, you can see the animation played out. This bar underneath allows you to speed up how many frames per second are in your animation, making the coin go very fast or go very slow. I think 12 is the perfect spot. Finally, I'm going to make sure this art is named. And then I'm going to jump back to the menu. Always make sure to go back, select your art, and share it with the class library so that your classmates can use what you've created and you can use what they've created. That's going to do it for this tutorial video. Be as creative as you can in animating your art. Have fun out there.
I'll see you next time.